Welcome to uh, QTP interview questions dot blogspot dot in. This website uh, provides all the uh, interview questions that are uh, asked uh, for QTP uh, on QTP uh, based. So uh, the if you want to uh, uh, if you want to uh, go for an in QTP interview, you can uh, definitely access this blog QTP interview questions dot blogspot dot in. In this particular video, what I'm going to tell you is uh, object repository manager in QTP. Now, uh, before I uh, tell you about object repository manager, let me uh, give you some background. Now, there are uh, two types of object repositories uh, in QTP. That is uh, local object repository and uh, shared object repository. Local object repository is associated with particular action, say action 1. But shared object repository can be associated with any number of actions in any number of tests. So, Object repository manager is used uh, to work with shared object repositories. So it has nothing to do with local objects. So I'll uh, open uh, this object repository uh, manager. So to open that, go to the resources and there is one option object repository manager. Now I'll uh, show you all the details about these tools on this toolbar. There is add objects, you can add objects uh, with using this, then you can define new test objects, then you can locate objects into the repository from using this. Then you can make the quality center connection using this option, then you can use object spy from here. And you can use manage repository parameters from here. Now important uh, uh, f features of the object repository manager are that you can use object repository manager uh, to edit the shared object repository file. or you can also use object repository manager to uh, compare two shared object repository files. You can also use this tool to merge two object repository into single uh, object repository. Now I'm going to uh, tell you how to edit the object uh, shared object repository using uh, object repository manager. So to edit the shared object repository file, you just go and open the file that you want to edit. So for example, if I want to edit the shared objects.tsr, just open that. There is one option uh, that is enable editing. Click that. And suppose if I want to uh, edit this object, so I will uh, do the HTML tag of this object is say span, and then save it. So this is how you can edit any kind of objects uh, using the object repository manager. Now uh, next uh, uh, feature that object repository manager provides is that you can compare two object repositories. For example, uh, suppose uh, I want to compare two object repositories, say object repository that I already opened and another one. So I just click that. Now it is asking me for two object repositories. So the first one is b.tsr and second one is b1.tsr. Same. I'll just click on OK. So it will compare uh, these two object repositories. Now, uh, when I click OK, it is showing me the statistics of the object, two object repository files. That is, it is showing me one object unique to the first file. So, it has found one object that is unique to the uh, first file. That means that object is not available in the second file. Then, two objects unique to the second file. That is, two objects are there that are unique to the second file. Then, zero objects with similar descriptions are available. Then, zero objects with same description, different names. And there are 18 identical objects in both uh, files. And I'll close the statistics. As you can see, it is giving me the two object repository details here. So this is the first file and this is the second file. So as you can see, this is the first file and this is second file and it is also highlighted the first change. That is one unique uh, object that is found here and this is these are the two objects that are available here. So this landline is not available here because the description of this landline is different from here. If you see a landline, is name is landline 8 and if you click here, the name is landline. So this object, even though the name of the object is similar, the description is uh, different. So that's why it is saying the unique object is found. So this is how you can uh, use the comparison tool in Object Repository Manager. Now the next tool that uh, this uh, QTP Object Repository Manager provides is a merging tool. 
this with this tool you can uh, merge two object repositories for example it is asking me for first file primary file says it's a shared object repository and the second file is say so I'll go to the D drive then advertising and my shared objects dot ESRC so if you want to merge these two object repositories I'll just click on OK so no conflicts were found so all unique objects were found I will close it so all these objects are merged so I'll save this and it is asking me to uh, save the shared object repository file that is the one that is merged that this file will be containing both the objects that is objects from both the uh, files both object files save. so this is how you can use the shared object, uh, object repository manager to the, uh, compare the two object repositories or uh, to merge two shared object repositories so if you like this video you can thumbs up this video or you can comment uh, on these videos and if you want to understand more about this object repository manager you can always visit the qdp interview questions.blogspot.in thank you